Hi there. So we're going to talk about Nginx proxy automation. We have a fresh installed server with uh, Docker in Docker Compose installed, as we have on the Easy Server video. And now we're going to follow through how to start the Nginx proxy in this server. So let's copy this. And in this fresh install, we are at the home. We don't just install easy server and have some aliases, which is Docker PS don't, doesn't have any containers running. And also there's no uh, just SSH uh, listening. So let's do that. First of all, let's create here a folder called server. Uh, and inside server, let's create proxy. And inside proxy, we're going to create the data folder and we're going to clone the. Sorry. We're going to clone here the compose folder. Uh, we're going to clone using recurse submodules, the Nginx proxy automation, this uh, REPL, into the compose folder. And we use submodules. That's why we need the recurse submodules in this uh, cloning process. As if we check here, we have uh, the base script. So if we come over here, this is a submodule. So so let's do that. Uh, we're going to the bin folder, and in the bin folder we have the fresh install script. This script will set all the information required for this nginx proxy let's see what it does just use dash h for help or dash dash help and right here we have some information which will be required um, the only required information is the email that must be set to the let's encrypt services uh, in the nginx proxy and uh, there's a lot of other information you could use to set up uh, your proxy so let's see how it does okay so the service name let's keep all the defaults just hit enter 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 uh, it's gonna list the tags which we want to use for now we're using the 2.0 which is the acme version um, the docker gen we're going to get the latest uh, version as well the ip address we're going to just keep the uh, the default 0000 but normally it will show you your ip address that should be used to bind your uh, ports so let's keep the regular uh the network name let's keep the default as well and the path the path we're gonna put in uh, server proxy data let's put the data at this place not inside the compose folder okay and the email address let's put here uh ssl dockerplay.com let's see enter and okay it seems our our nginx proxy is already running so let's see how it does we have like a small um a special docker ps here so it just show in this uh 80 columns uh terminal so let's see if it's running we have the test docker play settle okay it's reaching now the proxy but there's no site uh, configured so let's copy this url and in the bin folder we also have the test which uh, it's just a temporary um, temporary script that we we, we use and um, let's see how it does test docker play let's start this container um, okay the container it's running so let's see if it's running okay it works but it, there's no ssl because we need to start the ssl information so 
let's stop let's stop the this container and let start again the SSL with uh, the test docker play.com now if we check here the logs uh, on the nginx what's the name of the it's less than crypto auto so let's if we check here it will fire uh, a new script it just did so let's go back to the browser and see okay now it seems it's working under uh, with the certificate okay so that's it it's that simple and it seems you are good to go any questions or anything just send us a note thank you very much